Hey, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. As always, it's great to see you. You know, in preparation for the videos we've talked about many times in the past, we're looking for various conversations that comes up during the week where certainly news and a lot of information comes at us throughout the, uh, the week as we get ready to do these. And one of the topics that has come up recently beyond the election results, mm -hmm. beyond mm -hmm. interest rates and inflation has been the use of AI, so true. artificial intelligence, right? And so, you know, I'm, I got to confess, I'm the guy that's still fairly naive about AI and the impact that it has on our daily lives, right? I mean, I know that when I receive the email that I'm not supposed to send my social security number mm -hmm. for that on to whomever has sent me that email. Likewise, when I receive that urgent text that has that link, I'm not supposed to click on that link and right. respond. I know those things, but for the most part, I'm still fairly naive about the use of AI. And if you're naive, I'm dangerous. Okay? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> because I know some, I know some about AI, but really there's a lot I really don't understand. <laughs> yeah, well, it's probably a good time to explain, Denise, what is AI? What is artificial intelligence? And let me tell you, I think people hear that word a lot and they get intimidated. But in truth, I think we're using it almost on a daily basis. Yeah. So from a definition standpoint and my basic understanding, this is a com these are computer systems that are programmed to mimic human learning, human behavior, human decision making. And so the whole point of them is to replace those tasks that are easier done by a computer and make life a lot more efficient and easier for everyone. Yeah, and that's probably true, I guess, within the real estate industry mm -hmm. as well. Certainly, there's some artificial intelligence is everywhere with our industry, and probably the prevalent that we're seeing so much of, and we have been seeing so much of, is the online property estimates, right? There's so many of those. Yes. But probably the one that stands out the most is the use of Zillow within the real estate industry. And as we go into many appointments with sellers, and certainly we talk to buyers about it, is their famous Zestimate, right? That's true. And they use a lot of information that, uh, you know, certainly they gather, they spit out using algorithms, an estimate of value on properties. Correct. And some of that, I mean, we certainly respect that process, and they certainly use a lot of information that a real estate professional does. But as we go in to do CMAs, the, the competitive market mm -hmm. analysis, mm -hmm. I mean, we gather information on, you know, properties that have sold in the neighborhood, properties that are available, you know, that have either just gone under contract, how many days did it take mm -hmm. to go under contract, and so forth. But the other thing that we do is we go into a property and look at the condition of the property, so true. certainly the way the property is staged and, uh, and organized, and also what surrounds the property. I mean, there's nothing worse mm -hmm. as you look out the back window from the master bedroom of this beautiful home and you see the back of a data center, right? Mm -hmm. The impression that that gives you certainly much different than when you look out that window and you see a beautiful lake Correct. view, Correct. right? Yeah. True. Um, another way in real estate that it's being used and we're using it is through the blog articles. Yeah, that's so true. And you know, it's funny because each week as we prepare for those blog articles, um, you know, there's information that we have to gather, topics that we have to generate. And really what we've used in the past, I mean, we, we use AI as kind of the foundation for the very beginning, kind of the nurturing of the blog article for that Correct. week. Right? And for that, we use ChatGBT, and it just, you can ask it a question, you know, um, how does AI uh, um, relate to real estate? It'll spit out eight different ways. We get to pick and choose. We get to develop the ones and also add our own content yeah. to make it really our own. Um, and in terms of the future, um, AI continues to progress very rapidly. And I think that's what's a little scary for me because I think by the time I think I know it, it's already It's almost beyond our expectations, correct, right? Into our something else. Yeah. And so one of the main ones that I'm looking at right now is the capability of using AI to generate videos. 
So you, these, these systems can actually learn what we look like, mimic our voices, mimic our mannerisms, and then actually generate content about stuff we already do and make its own video of us without even without us even being in the video ray. It can, can you imagine? That. Right. So that's one way. And the other way is like things like title insurance. They're working on and they actually have them right now where you can buy title insurance solely and a computer decides which one is best for you and you get to do that all online. Yeah, health insurance, right? Oh as my well. Goodness, right. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. It really, it, it's really amazing how quickly it's developing. Yeah. Well, you know, as always, the bottom line, I think, is that AI, artificial intelligence, is here to stay, right? Mm -hmm. And while there are certainly many, many positive aspects about artificial intelligence, there's certainly some concerns, some drawbacks as well. And chiefly within our industry, within the real estate industry, I think it's security. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and just to give you an example, in a settlement, there is a lot of transfer of information as well as transfer of large sums of, of money. And we've experienced, we've seen situations in which that artificial intelligence has been there to try to gather not only the funds that are being transferred from the uh, lenders to the title companies, between people and the title companies, but also identities. Identity theft is rampant within the transfer of real estate. It's a great opportunity to gather personal information, to gather certainly and create personalities that later on down the road may be an issue with regard to title insurance, as you mentioned mm -hmm. before, and other means in which that the property may be being transferred to a fictitious individual who is created by artificial intelligence. That's true. Very concerning. Very. Another one that concerns me is the ethics behind yeah, some of it. Truly. Um, how ethical is it for you to generate a system where your computer is talking to a live person, but that live person has no idea they're talking to a computer because they mimic human voice. Yeah. And so there's a lot of um, ethics involved in um, intellectual property rights. So it makes a video of us. Who owns that video? Does the computer program own it or do we because we are the likeness of? So a lot of ethical uh, implications involved as well that concerns me. Certainly a lot more to talk about. Many more <laughs> topics that so will true. bring you on this, uh, on, this, uh, on this topic. But as always, we really appreciate you tuning in one more time. We hope the information that we have conveyed is proving to be valuable. And as always, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.